<laughs> um, what do you share with people that have been listening to what you have to say for over a year? Uh, we've all been on this journey together. Mm -hmm. Everyone here. You know, whether you've been listening to the show or not listening to the show. The show, it, we've all been on the journey together. Mm -hmm. All of us. And we've done this journey a million times before. Mm -hmm. On a myriad of different levels. With an infinite amount of different experiences. And the same ones. But we're recreating it brand new this time around. For the first time ever in existence. <coughs> now, if that's not exciting, I don't know what is. <clears throat> For me, this, this, this journey has been the ultimate quest for absolute freedom. Freedom that I've never experienced before. I've had pocket conversations with people, you know, talking about what it means to truly let go of limitation, to free, liberate ourselves from attachments, I use the example of my house burning down. On Monday, I have to give all my stuff away. What is it? What is that stuff that I've been collecting in boxes that sit in my garage? I don't even know what's in there until I open the damn boxes. Oh yeah, I forgot I've been holding this stuff. I just, I don't need any stuff anymore. About releasing expectations, our own. You can see if that's mine. What we place on others and what we place on our reality. <clears throat> what others place upon us. I'm not happy with you because I expected this to happen a different way. And you didn't do that. So I'm mad. Needs. I love you, but if you want to continue the love the way that we have it, I need you to act this way or that way. Or, I need you to be over here, or over there. <clears throat> Freedom is letting go of all of that. It's like a bundle. A release. Freedom to be who we want to be. Freedom to do what we want to do without judgment. This is bad. This is good. This is right. This is wrong. This is higher vibration. This is lower vibration. I don't understand that way of communication anymore. When we truly accept each other for who we are, and love each other no matter what, everything changes. And that's what we've done <clears throat> on this tour. We've got to take a hard, long look at the concept of a trigger. You know, you'd think it was a Civil War battle, the, this tr constant triggering of one another. Oh my God, this person did this and now I'm pissed. Okay, well look at that. What is it? Is it some external event? by where we had no control over the outcome? Or is it something that we designed to allow ourselves the opportunity to expand based on a newfound understanding that every event in our lives is by our own creation? Like Bob said. When we understand that, we realize that every trigger, everything that makes us uncomfortable, upset, angry, emotional, pissed off, whatever it might be. There's some perfectly designed experience that allows us the opportunity. He's still talking. <laughs> 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 
Okay, I'll be quiet for a minute. This will talk for 30 seconds, so it'll be back to me. <laughs> you speak your heart, and this is what you get. I love you too, Lisa. That's <laughs> good. At the end of the day, to wrap it up, considering that's just the ushering that I got in just right there. Keep going. I don't want to interrupt the BK, right? <laughs> so rant's a lot. Mm -hmm. Opportunities for expansion are designed in very mysterious ways. Based on one perception, it could be the worst thing that ever happened. The end of an engagement, for example. One day planning a wedding, the next day planning a move. <clears throat> and that's what I, I've experienced for everyone that doesn't know. But to have the capacity to see the opportunity for growth and expansion through that experience is the ultimate gift I could ever give myself. <clears throat> and it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to feel good and feel right at the end of the day. And I think that as we gather here and we share with each other and we experience what it feels like to live in a state of, of acceptance of one another, whether we realize it yet or not as a human species, we are doing this for everyone on the planet. Mm -hmm. yes. We set a tone that sings a beautiful melody that allows everyone the opportunity to experience this. What is more perfect than this? Look around. and just see the wonder of it all. You want to talk about magic? This is it. It's a miracle that we're all here. Having this experience together. It wouldn't be the same experience without all of you. It is the experience because we're all here. Sharing it by our own design <clears throat> for some greater purpose that we don't even have completely understand yet. And that's okay too. That's what makes it real. Surrendering to that, knowing that what's happening here is fucking special. Excuse my language. <laughs> I know most of you speak French. So let's in in closing to my rant, let's just close our eyes and celebrate it for a moment. Celebrate this moment in its absolute perfection. We cannot make a mistake. This moment is perfect. And it's filled with so much love for ourselves for each other, it cannot be more sacred, more special, more love infused than it is now. These are the moments that we remember. So celebrate it now as opposed to waiting till later. I mean, for crying out loud, Randy's here. so <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. That's all I got. Lisa? <laughs> Follow that one. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, Bob and I looked at each other earlier with this yeah, recognition and acknowledgement. When you were speaking earlier and you talked about waking during a lucid dream. And I feel like that's what I've been in the process of doing all year is just having it dawn on me. And then when we were in Morocco, you said microcosm of the macrocosm. We, we knew when we were there that that's what we were and that we weren't the only group or the, there were little pockets yeah. all over the planet who were, who were coming together and doing this work as, this, as these little microcosms. And over the last, over the course of this tour in particular, but even in just the last week or so, really feel like I woke up in the dream. Yeah. And I think that's what we've also assisted a lot of others to do along the way mm -hmm. and create space for them to step into to do that. <coughs> and none of this feels solid anymore. Mm -mm. If something presents that I don't like, so be it. whatever. <laughs> I think she means the moonshine. Here you go. <laughs> whatever. And it's. I mean, letting go of attachments was. I took I took a roller coaster ride on that in, in Morocco. But now I can see so many different areas where I've started to let go, including looking at what presents. And I have no attachment to how it looks, because I may not understand in that moment what it really means or where it's leading to, because sometimes you take a step forward and two steps back, or three steps forward, and suddenly you're there. But when you're in the process of taking two back, things look really, this is not where I thought I was going. So, None of this feels real. None of this feels solid. None of it is um, worth worrying about. <laughs> the only thing that's real is what I feel. And that's the connection to people. It's the moment. It's... I'm, I'm, I'm someone who's really visual. So for me, there's colours. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and the colours have changed and they've gotten brighter. That's real. And I think what you were saying earlier is, is true, that if there is an event, that's what it's going to look like. People wake up inside this dream and realise it's a dream. <laughs> And if I want to fly, I can fly. Let's go. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Someone just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> you just teleported in from where? I wish I teleported. <laughs> right now. Ooh, What's up, man? Hey, man. <laughs> I got a podium right here. <laughs> <laughs> 